so it is Sunday and I'm about to do my wash my uh, Sundays are my wash day so right now what I'm doing is just finger detangling it um, I usually don't do this on Sundays like I, I probably do this maybe once a month like not every Sunday this first step which is the ACV rinse the apple cider vinegar rinse ACV yeah, ACV rinse the apple cider vinegar rinse um but I've been looking it up and my scalp is really dry and my hair has been dry and I just took um some twist down the crochet braid so I need to yeah basically my scalp is basically my scalp is really dry so I need to do something so I'm trying to finger detangle everything So what I'm gonna do, I'm just putting, adding new step into this. Um, I've seen a couple girls put bacon soda, bacon powder, yeah, bacon soda in their um, roots of their RCV rinses. So I'm gonna add that to see how it does. I'm a little nervous because it fizzes up and I don't know how it's gonna feel, but we shall see. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna be looking this way because that's where my mirror is. Um, other than that, I guess, let's get started. Okay, so um, the apple cider vinegar that I have is by White House. It looks like this. It is organic. It says raw, unfiltered, and it has, it's USD organic. This is 32 ounces. I think I paid like $5 for this. Um, it says with mother. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, I have some baking soda. And then I'm going to put uh, probably, let's see. I'm going to do, because I'm using this, this bottle, which I usually use. But I usually use this for my um, protein treatments, but I wash it out really, really, really good. I mean, like, I was washing it for a minute to make sure the stuff is out of here. And I'm probably not even going to do a cup, probably a half of a cup of, um, I have my measuring cup, probably a half of a cup, or maybe a whole cup of water, a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and maybe a teaspoon of baking soda. So what I'm gonna do now is like I really want to make sure that I get my scalp because I mean when I say itching I mean like it's really really itching. So I'm going to part my hair just to make sure that the stuff all of it gets on my scalp. Um, right now I'm wearing that old shirt. I don't really care about this shirt. So oh my god, it's fizzing so bad, guys! Like it's coming out the bottom. Okay, so I'm just spraying this on my scalp. And I'm gonna spray some on my hair because uh, it says that it also adds shine. So again, guys, this is the first time I'm adding this to my hair regimen. But hey, if it doesn't work, I can always say that.
Okay, so basically, my whole head is filled with the ACV, um, with the ACV water and baking soda. I guess I'm gonna let this sit for a good five minutes, and then I'm gonna rinse it out. And when I come back, I'll be doing my. I'll be showing you guys how I do my. Um, I don't know if I want to do my deep condition or my hot oil treatment first. I think I'm gonna do my hot, my deep condition and then my hot oil treatment. No, no, no. I'm gonna do my hot oil treatment, then my deep condition, so that when I get in the shower tonight, I can just wash the um, conditioner out. And I can show you guys what my curls are looking like after that because they are so dry and brittle and yeah, they needed some light to blow back to them. So um, I'm about to wash this out and then I'll be back to show you guys how I Okay, so I just got done rinsing out the um, outside vinegar stuff, mixture or whatever that, that is. And now I'm gonna do my hot oil treatment. So right now I'm using this stuff. It's called The Good Stuff. A friend of mine made this. I'll put a link down below so that you guys can get it if you want it. I don't know everything that's in it. I just know that it's really good for hair growth. Um, a lot of people I know use it. It's by the Bella Collection. Intense Growth Oil is what it is. Um, and then on, I'm going to use this first. And then on top of this, I'm going to use uh, coconut oil. So first, I'm going to grab two coffee mugs because I know these can go in the microwave. The first one, I'm going to just put water in. And I'm going to put this on about a minute. And then after that, I'm going to just put um, some of this in, in the coffee mug and then put this in there as well. So when I say some,
now that okay so now that I have the um, the good stuff in my hair the intense hair growth oil in my hair I'm gonna take the coconut oil I just get it with my fingers and I'm gonna put that all around my edges and on the ends of my hair Emulator thing. If I had that right now, oh, that would be so great. But I don't have that, which I plan on ordering it soon. First of all, I'm gonna add just a little more right here because it's really dry. Um, since I don't have that, I just go in with my fingers and kind of massage everywhere. Or sometimes I use um, just 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 this regular one. It doesn't vibrate or anything. It's from uh, Sally. And it was like $4 or something. So sometimes I'll just go through and I'll just massage like this. clothes and then once I rinse this out I'll be back to show you guys how I do my deep condition so see you in a minute Just like the other parts of this video, I part my hair, and if anything, this part is like, I really need to part my hair for it, because like I said, when I do my deep conditions, I do it like I'm doing a uh, relaxer, or what some people would call perms, which is really a relaxer, but um, I do it like that. So what I'm gonna do is take my Tangle Ease brush, and I'm just going to get the tangles out before I put the conditioner in. Then I'm going to take my conditioner, just like doing relaxer. And I'm just going to go, let's see if I can show you guys, just like this. And once I do that, I bring it down. And make sure I get the ends really, really, really well because that's the part that needed the most. Once that's done, I go through it again. I comb through it again. So, let's speed this video up.
So now that all the conditioner is in there, first of all, let me say this. The reason I do it with this method is so that I can guarantee, I can like, yeah, so that I can be positive, 100% sure that every strand of my hair has conditioner on it. Um, a lot of people just use the comb through method. I prefer to do it this way. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, this is what it looks like. Completely saturated with conditioner. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it. A lot of people don't know what wrapping is. It's very, this is hard to do with this, this comb, but it's hard to do with that brush. So I'm gonna use a small tooth comb. And all I'm doing is just wrapping my hair around. I'm gonna take just a little bit more to get like around here. And back here. Okay, now after I do that, back with my too big shower cap for the most part usually I'll use a uh, a um, garbage bag as well like a grocery bag I mean it's plastic and if I don't have a shower cap I'll just use that so then I put this on top again and now I'm going to sit under the blow dryer for a good 30 minutes. So, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. If you like this video, make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.